Being at the competition was definitely surreal. Being able to, to see the car uh, running and all painted and, and beautiful was a really big deal. I'm the electrical lead for the 2022 season. We design and build the wiring harness for the car. So that connects uh, the dashboard, the engine all together. And we also program the ECU for the powertrain unit. As Composites lead, I make all of the carbon fiber pieces for our car. So that includes the body pieces like the nose cone and the side pods, but that also includes smaller pieces inside the car like the steering wheel and the dashboard. Composites are one of like the last pieces to go on. So finally in like the two or three weeks before competition, we cut all of my pieces out and just put them on the car. So I finally got to see them after eight months of work. On the team, I was a suspension co-lead, so I was uh, primarily responsible for kinematic design and the majority of the fabrication. My first year and the following year, we didn't get to compete again. Three years of my college career that I had dreamed about going to this competition, to finally see it pay off, it was amazing. It was really nice to see our hard work pay off this year. Um, I put in a lot of effort this year to change everything in the cockpit. I joined spring 2021 and since then became ergonomics lead. For our pedal pack to be as successful as it was, our shifting, as well as our steering, was really great to see, especially since all of those things were new to the 2022 car. A lot of the academics that you have to go through, it helps assure you that when you do continue your career as an engineer, you know, you're doing what you're supposed to be. I got involved with CFR. It was the reason I came to Temple. Uh, I wanted to stay local, but I really liked wrenching on motorcycles. That was what I did as a kid. I didn't know anything about cars, but when I uh, joined the team, it just felt kind of natural when I first started, everyone here knows so much about cars. There were only five girls in the room and I was sitting there and it was a bunch of guys who were all car bros. I was like, I'm never going to be able to fit in with this team. And I've kind of created a little niche for myself. I don't need to know how an engine works just to kind of get in with my hands and make the carbon fiber pieces. I went to a different university. I realized they didn't have the clubs and activities that I wanted to join. So I decided to transfer to Temple to pursue formula racing. I mean, every aspect of the team, from design to people to the way we do things, has changed so much. And uh, I think the biggest thing is probably our attitude towards ourselves in the car and, and really uh, making ourselves a, a professional organization. And uh, we really want to put that out there and, and make sure people know that we're here to compete and uh, we want to be one of the top teams.